OABCDE is the regular hexagon and A vector and B vector denote respectively the position vectors of A and B with respect to OA shows that OC is equal to 2AB. So it is given a regular hexagon, it means uh, all sides are equal and all angles also are equal. And OABCDE and we need to show that OC is equal to 2AB. And we can see that OC is parallel to AB. And uh, we can write the next that OC is equal to AB plus. So it will be, it will be M. And so M and it's uh, AB plus OM and plus N. C and what is OM? It's OA multiplied by uh, the cosine of this angle, and this angle is 60 degrees because internal angle of a hexagon or of a regular hexagon is 120 degrees, and it's a half because OC it uh, it's a bisector, and hence it becomes OA cosine. Of 60 plus BC also multiplied by cosine of 60 and AB plus what is OA? OA, uh, OA is equal to AB because all uh, sides are equal so it's AB uh, and uh, cosine of uh, 60 uh, degrees it's a half and uh, plus BC it's also AB and cosine of 60 it's also a half and hence we get 2AB as required. How to show that uh, uh, internal angle is uh, 120 degrees for a regular hexagon? We know a formula for the sum of uh, angles for any polygon and formula is 180 degrees and minus 2. It's the sum and uh, since uh, all angles are Equal, we just divide by 6 and for, for a regular hexagon it becomes 180 times 4 divided by 6 and we get, uh, we get 120 degrees. Or we know that the sum of external angles is equal to uh, 360 for any polygon. External it's this angle it's alpha and all external angles are also equal so we can say the next that 360 divided by 6 is equal to 60 it's uh, it is equal to the external angle and internal and external are supplementary and uh, they add up to 180 so internal OAB it's uh, 120 or uh, to show that OC is uh, 2AB, we can uh, show that uh, there are six equilateral triangles O, O, let it be K, O, K, A, uh, K, B, C, and so on, and uh, O, C, hence, uh, is equal to uh, 2AB. Because if we consider the equilateral triangle, OK is equal to uh, AK and is equal to AO. In general, for any for any polygon, uh, such triangles are isosceles. But since uh, the angle OK uh, A is uh, 360 divided by uh, 60 60 degrees, uh, it becomes isosceles and uh, uh, with uh, all angles to be equal to 60 degrees, hence it's uh, equilateral triangle. So, the next, B. Find the position vectors of C, D and E in terms of A vector and B vector. So, what is A vector? It's position vector, it means from origin. Origin is uh, one vertex, so OA vector is A vector and OB vector is B vector. 
and we can see that uh, we can find a b vector it's directly a rule a rule for difference it's b minus a or it can be applied the rule for the sum using triangular rule so a b we move from a to b it becomes a o plus o b a o it's minus o a so it's minus a plus b so we get the same result b minus b minus a and position vector of uh, c it means we need vector oc and we can see that oc is parallel to ab and oc length of oc is two times uh, the length of ab so oc vector is two uh, multiplied by uh, the vector ab hence it will be two uh, b minus two a So, OC vector is found. The next, we need OD vector to find the position vector of point D. OD, OD is this one. And uh, due to symmetry, OE is equal to BC. And a e d is equal to a b and uh, b c can be found b c can be found firstly so let's find b c and again b c it's uh, directly the rule for difference b c it's uh, o c minus o b or again it may be applied uh, a rule for the sum using triangular rule so it's b o plus o c and b o it's minus o b hence it becomes what is o c it's the previous result to b minus 2 a and minus o b it's uh, minus b so it becomes b minus 2 a and uh, it also will be equal to OE vector and ED vector is uh, equal to AB vector and it's B minus A and hence OD vector is just the sum of OE vector plus ED vector and what is OE? OE is B minus 2A plus cd plus b vector minus a vector hence we get 2 uh, to b vector minus 3 a vector and we need uh, the position vector of, of the point e so we need o e and it's already found it's just b minus 2a it's uh, already found because there are a few ways how to represent uh, uh, vectors and uh, there are a few ways how, how to find the required result uh, for od for example so we have already found oe vector and it's b minus 2a And that's all for this question.